Hello, good morning and welcome to the AM Sports with me, Oreko Wampofo. We start off from a Ghana national team and that has to do with the Black Princesses who lost 1-0 to the Lionesses of Morocco earlier yesterday at the Accra Sports Stadium. Now, it was their first match since COVID-19 struck, but Coach Yusif Basigi feels disappointed with the results. Didn't go too far. The Moroccans are coming, lining up an attack of their own. Linda Eshan clears first time, tripped in the second. And it looks like the penalty has been given to the Moroccans. And this is going to be the first test for Abigail Taria Mensa in goal. There she comes. One, two, three. She pauses. She picks her spot. It's an easy goal for the Moroccans. They are up ahead by one. Pass finds Sandra and the Queens are coming forward slowly but surely into the 18 yard box. There's nobody in the middle. Faustina traps it and fires a shot and gets the Black Queens back on track. She's played her part. Faustina Tremont gets the equalizing goal for the Black Queens. And did we see that coming? 18 yard box. Sandra is there, Enima is there, Devon's getting a bit too much, they complain about every single situation. So game will continue, free kick advantage to Ghana, Linda Ishan is behind the ball. There's a long one, <gasps> goes straight into the ball, oh what a goal, what a sweet goal. There was a reason why she left her defensive duties or her defense duties to come effect the free kick. Sandra who's fallen deep to help with the build up. Now on the far side they go. It's looking threateningly enough. But for the Queens they might have an opportunity. And a crack at goal. A shot is fired and easy does it. Good goal by the Black Queens. They're pushing. They're pushing. They're pushing. They found a gap in there in the uh, defense for the Queens. And it's the lady who just came on, Georgina Ajim, who gets the goal for Ghana. Believe that we've had enough. This is the end of the uh, match. Black Queens against the Moroccan uh, opponents. So there was a little bit of a mix-up. That was the highlight of the Black Queens game. They also played Morocco at the Accra Sports Stadium. They won by three goals to one. But before that, we did see the Black Princesses play uh, at the Accra Sports Stadium with a similar team that's also the Lionesses of Morocco. Now, that game did end in defeat for the Black Princesses. Remember, the Black Princesses are the under-20 female side of Ghana. And their head coach, you see Basigi, was disappointed with the result. This is one of the first time we've witnessed friendly international at home. We most of the times go to play in a way. And uh, we went to Morocco in March. And uh, I saw that they are not a bad side. They are up and coming country so far as women football is concerned. So um, they played very well over there. and. Um, they replicated it here. However, if they were to be here at the time we're in camp, that would have been a different ball game altogether. We broke camp somewhere last month, and uh, the players went back home, and we reassembled about uh, six days. So definitely, I wouldn't say that that is the the, the, the matter of the fact, but. Um, it had a little bit of uh, effect on us. And then also uh, playing on the AstroTurf at Pram Pram and coming to play on the grass pitch, um, we could see that our passes were not getting to our teammates. And uh, also, we were a bit heavy. So I must say that the Moroccans played very well and we are looking forward to playing a very good game on Monday and beating them. Uh, I don't have any excuse, but I'm very disappointed. Um, 
personally, um, for the performance uh, putting in the game today. It hasn't been a good game, but this isn't over. We still go on Monday, and I'll say that we are very sorry to the um, Ghanaians for um, bringing up this bad performance. And we are all not happy about it, but it's not over. That was captain of the side, Abdullah Mukarama. Well, they do play Morocco again on Monday, and we'll be bringing you updates on how that match goes. Uh, but let's go to England now, where after playing without spectators since last season's lockdowns fixtures, some clubs in the English Premier League from December 2nd will open up for fans at their respective stadiums. Well, that's the note on which we'll be wrapping up the sports here. Remember, you can get some more sports stories at my Joy Online for us last sport, and then you can follow the Joy Sports team on social social media at Joy Sports GH on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My name is Ray Kwampofo. The AM show continues right after this.